garage time today what we're going to do is fix a run in a brand new car it's unbelievable it got through quality control but here you go brand new car small run in the clear so we are going to clean it up so here's another shot of the run we were talking about right in the corner there on the clear we want to obviously clean that up and get this car looking like a new car should so here's what we've put together to do this we're not sure if we're going to need everything yet or not uh, won't really know till we get going but we have uh, two different styles of razor blades a uh, straight blade and then one which is flexible we have obviously tape we're going to tape the area uh, 2000 grit 3000 grit sanding wet sanding uh, paper and one is more like a pad the 3000 is more like a pad then we have our scratch remover or like rubbing compound wax brand new uh, wax applicator and uh, cotton polishing rag so we're going to start by taping the area off as i mentioned we're going to try to only Impact the area in question. Um, like to avoid scratching or making anything worse than it already is. Most people think I am crazy, but it is insane to have a brand new car that you paid good money for come with imperfections. Now I had tried before, it's quite a long story, but this is actually not my first new one. Um, so I am first going to try just to see if I can get away with doing the wet sanding. Um, hopefully I'm a little nervous of using the razor blade. Don't really like that idea, but I will if I have to. So to wet sand, I'm going to start uh, with 2000 grit and then we'll work our way to 3000 and get the area nice and wet, added a spray bottle, wet the actual sandpaper itself, and slowly work at it. Now this is a very time consuming, tedious, but if you rush it, you'll make it worse. So I have decided to try very lightly with the flexible razor. Now it's actually, as you can see, very flexible. It's a razor straight blade. You can see that it is easily taking the run, the run off, which is positive. I'm going to do a little wet sand here. Yes, I know I'm being very quiet. I'm obviously concerned, but I do think we are improving that. Definitely looks better in my eyes. 
some success there. No. I'm not going to give up yet. I'm going to do this. Do the after I do the two thousand, I will do the three thousand, and then I'll do the rubbing compound, and then I'll wax it. But uh, I do believe I am happy, and I can live with this outcome. Nice. I'm actually really happy with that result. I'm going to, instead of doing the 3000 grit, I'm going to try just the rubbing compound and see if that cleans it up. And if so, I can return the 3000 grit to the store. It was like 10 bucks or something. So save a few bucks. We are going to use rubbing compound and then we're going to wax. So there's my Polishing rag. Still see it a bit there. Do rubbing compound again. But all in all. I would say it was a success and I didn't have to deal with the dealership. The long story I was mentioning before was the last truck I had had pain imperfection in the door and they took it to fix it and when I got it back the entire truck was covered in overspray and it was all over. There was tape lines. It was all over the rubber. It was all over the rims. It was even on the roof, and you could, you could see the tape lines that the paint shop had done. So, uh, being devastated with my brand new truck, they actually the dealership came through and bought it back, and I got this one. And then when I saw the run in the back. I definitely wanted to take care of it myself. So I think that was successful. I'm going to, again, rub and calm down one more time. Wax it one more time. Now I know you should be swirling in a nice circle, but it's right in a, a joint, which makes it difficult. So it was nice that the run was at least in the clear, because I could easily scrape it off and polish up the clear that's on top. If it was, if it was below in the base, there would be a no chance. Nice. So now I'm just getting out my regular wax. Okay, so now I'm just applying regular wax to the area. Like I say, nobody will 
be able to notice that that was was there and now I can officially be happy with my uh, brand new truck you go and here we go one more time showing you some different angles here but uh, as you can see the run has been removed paint looks good and I no longer have anxiety I no longer have a fear I was terrified to use a razor blade on my brand new car but it worked out and it uh, looks good thanks again for watching